the Federal Reserve came out today and cut rates 25 basis points. And by doing so, they told every one of you, they told America that we are heading in to a recession. Now, if you cannot see the writing on the wall and where this is all going, you're absolutely blind to what is going on. America is heading into a recession. Every country across the globe is cutting rates and America is cutting rates to keep up with this global recession. America, get ready. This is just the beginning of things to come. It's Wednesday, July 31st, 2019. This is gonna be a really quick video today, so let's get into it and, and, and go over a little bit of what transpired earlier this afternoon. We got a 25 basis point rate cut. Uh, Fed cites implications of global developments for the economic outlook as well as muted inflation pressures. The Fed leaves the door open for future cuts. You bet they did because this is the first of many. Uh, we now have a 70% chance as of right now to see, to see another rate cut happen as early as September. If things get a little bumpy, uh, that is gonna go to 90 to 100% very, very quickly. And as we all saw today, the markets did not like this rate cut because it was not enough. This market was looking for a half point cut. It got a 25 uh, basis point cut and it wasn't enough. Uh, this market reacted. Uh, we closed down 333 points uh, in the red. Uh, Jerome Powell says, uh, will act appropriate to sustain expansion. What he's saying there is they're gonna do whatever they have to do to keep this stock market propped up. They are subservient to the stock market. Their, their main responsibility and loyalty now is to the stock market and keeping the stock market floating. Um, the central bank also ends its balance sheet reduction two months earlier than planned. Uh, they have nearly $4 trillion on their balance sheet. So ask yourself, we're at 2% today, uh, near $4 trillion on the Fed balance sheet. When we get deep into a recession, as we've already started this recession, once we get deep into it, you need four or five points to get out of it. We have two points right now. By September, we'll be under two points. Uh, nearly $4 trillion on the books. How are they going to get out of this recession that has begun? The committee called the current state of growth moderate and the labor market strong. Labor market strong. We have 100 million people in America not working right now. We have people whose wages are not keeping up, certainly not keeping up with the uh, cost of real estate, not keeping up with a loaf of bread, uh, people falling farther and farther behind, 7 million people not able to make their auto payments. Uh, yet, uh, Jerome Powell says the labor market is strong. People working, uh, a full-time job or two part-time jobs and another side hustle just to make ends meet. Things are not that good. You know it, I know it. But they're trying to sugarcoat everything, telling you that everything is okay. Uh, yet, we all know that in a booming, healthy economy, you raise rates. We are not even near normal rates at this point, and we're getting ready to cut again in September. The cut was just a mid-cycle adjustment, said Jerome Powell. So now it's just a mid-cycle adjustment. So, you know, uh, you really got to have some concern when you're listening to this, reading this. Um, they know exactly what's right around the corner. Remember, the rate is tied to to most forms of consumer debt and likely will have an immediate impact on lowering credit costs. So. This, uh, in doing so, by lowering the credit costs, this is going to bring more suckers into buying houses, cars, uh, suckering more people into the stock market as they prop it up. So they need the consumer to keep spending, all right? They, they need the consumer to keep getting suckered in, uh, to keep buying things, and to keep this Ponzi scheme going. Uh, it's about keeping the markets propped up. It's about the keeping the consumer spending. The only way the consumer spends now is with credit because the consumer has no emergency fund. The consumer, most most consumers, 
don't even have $400 saved up. A majority of consumers don't even, you know, uh, have $1,000 saved up. So this is, I believe, a very, very dangerous time here in America as all this is being propped up and people relying on credit. This economy relies on nothing but credit. And America is just consuming debt hand over fist. And pretty soon, the roosters are coming home to roost. Pretty soon, uh, there is going to be no more road to kick the can because we're going to be at a dead end. Markets got, uh, the metals market today got absolutely creamed. Uh, but gold did stay above 1400 Silver did stay above $16. As we witnessed people running into bonds and people running to cash. Remember, cash is devaluing every minute of the day. Um, here's where I believe uh, is the place and the time to be buying metals. Uh, again, the two most undervalued assets in the world took a dip today. Great day to get in and buy some metals. SD Bullion link down below, uh, making my own purchase this evening, buying in this dip. Um, again, why would you run to cash? It's devaluing. Bonds, uh, a 10-year at 2%. I mean, give me a break. It's not like keeping up with inflation. You have a way better chance with holding a hard asset like gold and silver than you do holding cash devaluing and bonds at 2%, not even keeping up with the rate of inflation. Uh, remember, this is just the beginning of the end. Uh, we are going to see much more of this, and this is telling every one of us that we are heading right to a dead end. This was the first rate cut in 11 years. We may see as many as two more this year. This year. At least one more, I believe, but possibly two. We're going to see what happens. This market did, did not react positively. It did not like the 25 basis rate cut. It's looking for more. It's dependent now uh, on the Federal Reserve. It's dependent on rate cuts. This economy is dependent on credit. And the consumer, in the meantime, is going to continue to acquire tons and tons of more debt while their dollar keeps devaluing. Now, yes, the dollar... Uh, was strong today. But remember, it is the least sickest kid in the hospital right now. Your dollar is buying much less than it did a couple years ago, much less than it bought a year ago. And next year, it's going to buy even less than it buys today. So they can tell you that it's getting stronger, but you know your buying power is less and less. You know, just look at the price of cars, look at the price of real estate, look at the price of a loaf of bread, groceries, cereal, you name it. Inflation is overwhelming. Your dollar is buying less and less. And next year, it's going to buy much less. So start waking up, protecting yourself with hard assets, gold and silver. Very nice dip today. I, I, I believe that this is an excellent time to be protecting yourself and purchasing hard assets like gold and silver. Do what the Chinese are doing. Do what the central banks are doing. Never going to be worth zero. And, you know, you have a much better chance than taking on more paper like the U.S. dollar that is devaluing every minute of the day. Listen, it's only going to get worse. As I've said earlier, this is the beginning of the end. We are running out of road. We are coming to the dead end. We can no longer kick this can much farther. These bubbles are enormous. They're getting ready to burst. They could burst tomorrow. They could burst next year. It could be two years from now. It could be two days from now. Nobody knows. But take the opportunity to really do your due diligence, educate yourself, read, and start protecting yourself. Holding paper and trusting your financial institutions, your pensions, your money markets, which are not going to be there when this thing collapses, is the wrong strategy. Be your own central bank. Be your own security. Hold and, and, and be able to get to your own money, your own assets. Do not be dependent on a bank. They are not going to be there for you. When you open up that savings account, you sign that contract, that money is now the bank's money. That is now the property of the bank. I'm going to wrap this video up right here, but um, a very interesting day. And I believe that uh, we're going to see a lot of pressure coming in these markets as we have massive household debt, massive corporate debt, uh, Chicago PMI uh, at a record low. We're not manufacturing. We're not making anything. We're acquiring debt. Uh, $22.5 trillion of federal debt right now. 
I mean, the debt and deficits are overwhelming. The amount of money that this country is going to spend just on servicing the debt is not sustainable. The U.S. dollar is not sustainable. These bubbles are not sustainable. I'm going to close it right here. Make sure you're really doing your homework. Make sure that you're protecting yourselves and your family. Have a great day. Uh, have an incredible week. We'll talk very, very soon. These are exciting times, but they're very dangerous times. So make sure that you are protecting yourself. God bless every one of you. Talk to you very soon.